y'all, it took me two days. <laughs> it took me two days to get this afro. And it's still, I'm still working on my shape, my form, whatever. It took me two days. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Y'all, so I had to get on here real quick because I just had a very um, interesting an educational conversation with one of my friends. And it's awesome because we always have these conversations, right? And just out of talking, and we just be letting it flow, right? Like she tells me her secrets, I tell her my secrets. You know, we could be vulnerable with each other, right? It's hard to get a friend like that. But anyway, y'all, I have a friend like that. So anyway, we was talking and she asked me, did I go to church today? And I told her, yeah, I went to church today, right? And so in the conversation, we got to talking about why I go to more than one church, right? And why a lot of people are feeling like they don't want to go in the churches and they don't agree with the churches and all that type of things, right? Me and her was talking about this. So what I mentioned to her is you know what, one thing that I look for when I go visit any church, when I go visit any church, right? It's that energy of genuine love. And that's what's missing, y'all. That's what's missing. Everybody loves with conditions. These churches be loving with conditions. And that's society programming us like that, right? We are programs like that from very little. Like, the schools even help program us like that. Like, everything. Oh, if you don't follow the rules, you get kicked out, right? But that's not how it works with the spiritual side. That's not how God works, right? If you don't follow the rules, you're going to have some consequences of deciding not to follow those rules. But you don't just get kicked out. God's not just going to completely, unless you knowingly know that you're not following God's rules, unless you're defiant on purpose, right? Because you want to feel your own flesh and you know that you're doing wrong, but you're doing it anyway, you're going to have to deal with that. You're going to have to deal with that. So anyway, y'all, in talking to her, and again, I said what's missing out of a lot of churches is genuine love. So... I googled it right and it says what is genuine love it's a sincere interest in the well-being and happiness of the other person that's what it says saying I love you needs to be accompanied by an honest and heartfelt interest in the other person that's what it says as far as genuine love, right? So you don't see these in a lot of churches and organizations because if you don't follow their rules, right? They're so quick to try to kick you out and turn you back and it's so many rules and regulation. Well, understand that when you start actually following the most high when you actually start doing what you're supposed to be doing, right? When it actually starts kicking in, everything that you know to be wrong is not even going to attract you anymore. That's part of cleaning up your energy. So the things that you thought was cute, the things that you thought was funny, you grow out of that. That's what growth is, right? And so the problem with attending a church that's not genuine, you guys have to understand, don't keep your focus on the person. Don't keep your focus on the person preaching the word, right? Because here's what I think some people overlook. They're shepherds, right? They're shepherds. They're supposed to guide God's people, right? the lambs of God, right? That's what they're doing, they're shepherds. But if that shepherd has had some kind of turmoil 
or some kind of trauma or something like that in their life that they have not healed from, you will <clears throat> you will hear that in their sermon somewhere, right? For instance, I know one pastor's church that I, I, I visited, he speaks very highly and he plants all kind of seeds about helping like the homeless or helping the less fortunate, right? Because he really, he really has a passion and really has a heart for helping the less fortunate, right? But then if you listen to other places in the sermon, it's also where he, he kind of doesn't condone multiple wives or cheating or some of those things that come with that nature, right? So he's healed in one area. I'm going to have to get off of here, y'all. But he's sick in another. So that's what he's going to show in his message, right? That's what he's going to show. And that's what we have to understand. And sometimes when we are in these churches, right, we think that, okay, well, these are people of God. They're supposed to love me, right? Because love conquers all. So even if you're doing wrong, that feeling of love will make you start wanting to do right, right? Y'all not going to sit here and play with me. Love will start making you want to do right. Y'all going to quit playing. So, if you get in a church that genuinely loves you and they're like, you know what? I know you sinning. Guess what? I was sinning to come on in here, get you something to eat. Aren't you most likely to go back to that church? But if you get one of these churches, it's like, oh, well, you shouldn't be wearing pants. You're a woman. You should only be wearing dresses. Or, oh my gosh, you had sex outside of marriage because you're a single parent. Oh my gosh, you're being shunned. Most people are going to feel horrible about that church and not want to attend. And that church just represented a whole bunch of other churches. Right? And that's not genuine love. Genuine love would look more like, I made mistakes too. Come on in here. We got some healing. We going to tell you which way to go to get that healing because we can't do the healing for you. Oh, y'all, y'all see my little bandana? Somebody asked me, was I gang banging today? They didn't see this be safe. They didn't see the be safe. Anyway, but as I was saying, so that's things that people look for in churches, y'all. So understand that sometimes you have to go multiple places to get your spirit fed, right? The best place to go and I'm going to keep telling y'all, is to read the Bible for yourself. Read the Bible for yourself. For yourself. So can't nobody tell you what it say because you read it and you got your own interpretation on it. Now I'm going to tell you, your perspective is going to be based off of what you are currently going through. So if you need help healing in the area, you're going to see, you might overlook some areas where that healing happened in the Bible. You may not see it yet. You may not be able to receive it yet. And I'm telling y'all, I done read that Bible five times cover to cover. And every time I read that Bible, y'all, I learn something new. I learn something new. So just to let you know, every time you start cleaning up your energy, something new is revealed to you. I promise. I promise you. So don't necessarily focus on the people of the church focus on how that message is hitting your spirit is it healing you is it a message you needed confirmation on is it was something you needed to hear because the church unfortunately that particular church could be a seasonal thing you might have to go to another church because this pastor is healed in this area and he's preaching genuinely in this area he's preaching love there's some pastors out here that they tell you faith, 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 faith. And then there's nothing but fear in their conversation. God didn't give us a spirit of fear. So they don't even know that they're doing false teachings. They don't even know that. So that's why y'all have to be careful. 
y'all have to be careful. Don't assume or don't put the responsibility of getting your spirit fed on one person because the only person that has that responsibility is you. All right, so I just had to get that out there because me and my friend had a real deep conversation about it. And I absolutely do believe that you people need to understand that you can't put all your eggs in one bas basket. Sometimes you've been hurt in so many different places that you might have to go talk to other people that's experienced that hurt and overcame it, right? And you might find that in different churches. So don't seem to think that churches is all negative and all judgmental people because it's not. Go in there looking for the word to hit your spirit, not for.